A Perfect Day to Be Alone by Nane Aoyama, uh, translated by Jesse Kirkwood, and this is published by Maclehose Press, imprint of Quirkus. And this is a novel of Chizu, who's a young 20-year-old woman, who goes to lodge with an old family acquaintance who's in her 70s, and she's called Ginkgo, and they live in a place called Chofu, just outside Tokyo. Chisu is a curious character. I mean, this is this is actually a short book of only 150 pages, but it does kind of pack um, a thought-provoking narrative. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's very, very Japanese. Um, so Chizu is living with Ginko, and Chizu is quite an angry young woman. Um, she is a little bit priggish sometimes. She um, can be critical of others, um, but they kind of rub along. And in a way, uh, Ginko is actually modelling an adult relationship for uh, Chizu because Chizu is floundering and she has one foot left in adolescence so there's a lot of miffy. Her mother in fact gives her um, a teddy bear for a present for her birthday. So it is um, the story of their days, their relationships both together and uh, out beyond uh, their Chofu residence and gradually Chifu breaks the apron strings to adolescence and moves on. I found it a really kind of charming coming of age uh, novel. It's a short read, it's a quick read. Um, I love the cover, I think it's really eye-catching. Um, and it really took me to Japan. So if you are a Japanophile um, and you would like to sort of just be immersed for a few hours, then this is definitely one to pick up.